My name is Bob Lee Swagger. I did not kill the president. Shooter. Based on the 2007 Paramount movie starring Mark Wahlberg and the best-selling book Point of Impact by Stephen Hunter. Ryan Philippe plays Bob Lee Swagger in the show, which follows his journey as a distinguished warrior who is persuaded to return to duty in order to foil a plot to assassinate the president. When Isaac Johnson, Swagger's previous commanding officer, asks for his assistance in a covert operation, Swagger learns that he has been falsely accused and must take all necessary measures to defend his family and clear his name. Before the president's trip to Seattle, Bob Lee Swagger, a veteran Marine Corps sniper, is asked to help out with security by Isaac, a former captain who is now employed by the U.S. Secret Service. Due to a credible danger, his responsibility is to scout the locations for potential sniper nests. He is unable to stop the shot from being fired, and Bob Lee ends up taking the blame for the death of the visiting Ukrainian president. He is detained by Nadine, a disgraced FBI agent. Bob Lee is in federal prison awaiting arraignment while the conspirators work to have him killed. One of those failed attempts results in Bob Lee being able to flee. He promises to continue hunting, which is what he does best. After a failed assassination attempt, Bob Lee discovers Isaac Johnson in Texas. Patricia Gregson's power is revealed to Nadine, and a devastated Julie struggles to maintain her composure for the sake of her family. Bob Lee and Isaac find out who the best assassin in the world is in the United States. His identity is made known through flashbacks of a mission in Afghanistan, Solitov. Nadine arrives in Texas with concerns about a plot. Bob Lee tries to figure out why Solidov chose to attack their squad. Nadine discovers an unexpected eyewitness to the incident that started it all. As part of his search, Solidov is hidden in plain sight. Bob Lee pursues Solitov's money while going up against a cartel from Mexico. Investigating a cover-up involving Bob Lee's team, Nadine assists a journalist. To express her fury, Julie uses a gun to shoot a guy in the ear. Before Solitov discovers them, Bob Lee and Isaac must work together to escape from a Mexican prison. As Nadine looks into Atlas Moore, she discovers that Bob Lee's team was involved in the cover-up. Law enforcement is a concern for Julie. Although Bob Lee makes an effort to get Solitov out into the open, he soon recognizes the Chechen has the upper hand. Solitov's history is revealed in flashbacks, and in the present, his creator is courting Isaac. As Bob Lee is being kept captive and Isaac and Julie are pursuing him, flashbacks to a childhood event plague him. Nadine challenges a dishonest senator. Bob Lee looks into the possible terrorist attack on his Marine unit. Memphis provides assistance in Germany. Afghanistan-related flashbacks give light on potential assailants. After a failed assassination attempt, Bob Lee discovers Isaac Johnson in Texas. Patricia Gregson's power is revealed to Nadine, and a devastated Julie struggles to maintain her composure for the sake of her family. Bob Lee and Isaac find out who the best assassin in the world is in the United States. His identity is made known through flashbacks of a mission in Afghanistan, Solitov. Nadine arrives in Texas with concerns about a plot. Bob Lee tries to figure out why Solitov chose to attack their squad. Nadine discovers an unexpected eyewitness to the incident that started it all. As part of his search, Solitov is hidden in plain sight. Bob Lee pursues Solitov's money while going up against a cartel from Mexico. Investigating a cover-up involving Bob Lee's team, Nadine assists a journalist. To express her fury, Julie uses a gun to shoot a guy in the ear. Before Solitov discovers them, Bob Lee and Isaac must work together to escape from a Mexican prison. As Nadine looks into Atlas Moore, she discovers that Bob Lee's team was involved in the cover-up. Law enforcement is a concern for Julie. Although Bob Lee makes an effort to get Solitov out into the open, he soon recognizes the Chechen has the upper hand. Solitov's history is revealed in flashbacks, and in the present, his creator is courting Isaac. As Bob Lee is being kept captive and Isaac and Julie are pursuing him, flashbacks to a childhood event plague him. Nadine challenges a dishonest senator. Bob Lee begins an investigation after becoming determined to learn the truth about his father's 1988 passing. Harris is involved in Isaac and Nadine's situation. As they pursue other leads, Harris irritates Bob Lee while they are driving. Isaac and Nadine find a potential friend or foe who is a person of interest. After learning of a fresh rumor, Bob Lee pays the pools a visit, and Julie follows her own path. Nadine and Isaac follow an Atlas target. Bob Lee returns to D.C. after visiting an old acquaintance of his father's, where he meets Isaac, Nadine, and Harris for a mission at a formal occasion. A man who served in Vietnam alongside Earl is visited by Bob Lee and Isaac. Alone, Nadine embarks on a hazardous quest. Julie speaks with the Bamas. Bob Lee and Isaac locate a crucial contract at a mental hospital. Memphis searches Gregson's home seeking proof. 
Sam receives a proposal from Red Junior Bob Lee and Julie find out what Sam was supposed to give Red Junior Red Senior is put in a difficult situation. Next steps are discussed among Carlita, Harris, Isaac, and Nadine. Julie becomes frustrated by Bob Lee's search for Bama Jr. The chief of staff of the president is where Isaac and Nadine meet. Isaac and Bob Lee arrive at a distant Atlas outpost while looking for Carlita. Brooks was under pressure from Nadine and Harris. Julie makes a disturbing discovery. Bob Lee targets Brooks while Julie works to protect Mary. A strategy devised by Nadine and Isaac involves an Atlas recruit. The American president requests assistance from Nadine and Harris. Bob Lee and Julie had a difficult conversation. He may be off the grid now, but Bob Lee Swagger is still the deadliest sniper I've ever known. Back in Afghanistan, he held off 200 Taliban for over 46 hours on his own. He's smart. He's a family man. He's got the kind of skills you just can't teach. Underestimate Bob Lee Swagger at your own peril. He's the real deal. What can I do for you, Captain? This was written to the president. States that in 21 days he'll be executed. And that's exactly why I need you to help. I need a complete workup. Distances, locations. He knows the exact moment to take the shot, and he's going to take it from here. He's in location A! No way he's getting away. My name is Bobby Swagger. I did not kill the president. <laughs> 